is indeed going to close up on Alessi. Alessi has been very frustrated. And, oh, well, you see, now, do you know, that incident that we just saw then is only controllable by someone of Alessi's sort of reactions. Five-tenths down, five-tenths, probably two-tenths of what was lost in that little moment again. Oh. Ragged. Everybody aware that you've got to get your good laps in. Oh, look at Alessi. Absolutely on the limit. Three times, and uh, the guy, he's got such confidence, such aggression. And he can go out when he's cold, the car's cold, the tyres are cold. Look at the race, I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, really, any driver who's been here a few times would never dream of driving like this at this stage in qualifying, practising. So he did the only thing any man could do, that is drive across the grass. Oh, and let's look at the lazy. And even knowing whereabouts in the track, he wouldn't, have, he wouldn't be able to see the entry into the corner, he would have to do, oh, when a lazy, you know, he gets away with murders at times, but someday. So watch a lazy plunge, Daniel. Oh, a lazy in all sorts of trouble. So though he's still on a fast lap. Let's just take another look. You can just see he clipped that white line, and look how close he got to that concrete wall. No way was he ever going to make the corner without him being there in the first place, but, you know, drivers have always got a different version of the same story. Oh, look at a lazy, isn't that fun? Really, this is a driver that should have been racing probably way back in the 1950s when racing cars were very basic and crude. They're really all about an engine. The very sophisticated cars of the 90s, you know, the passion involved is of a different level. And this is a man who has got passion by the brimful. Just watch John Lacey in fine form. Look at him sliding that Ferrari, controlling it on the steering and the throttle.